sweeping across the country comes one of the great literary achievements of our time, a human, revealing, soul-stirring story that instantly becomes the most discussed novel of modern literature, The Grapes of Wrath. The Grapes of Wrath, please. I'll have to put you on a waiting list. We've never had such a demand for a book. Do you have a copy of Grapes of Wrath? Sorry, we're all sold out. Yes, The Grapes of Wrath. Well, send me as many copies as you can. I can't supply the demand. The grapes of wrath. 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 As sales skyrocket, the grapes of wrath becomes the book of the nation. Everyone, everywhere, joins in the discussion of its vital problem. Due to this unprecedented popularity, producers vie for the motion picture rights. And finally, 20th Century Fox announces the purchase of the book and plans for its immediate production. A storm of discussion arouses the nation. Speculation and rumor are rife to the effect that no producer will venture to film this great dramatic masterpiece of human heart. Daryl F. Zanuck, production head of 20th Century Fox Studios, emphatically announces that the Grapes of Wrath will be made. All of the resources of this vast studio are marshaled for the production. John Ford, Academy Award winner, is given the directorial assignment. The cast is carefully chosen to make John Steinbeck's unforgettable characters come to life. Tom Jode is played by Henry Fonda. Maud Jode is played by Jane Darwell. Casey is played by John Carradine. Grandpa is played by Charlie Grapewin. Rosa Sharon is played by Doris Bowden. Maud Jode is played by Russell Simpson. Al is played by O.Z. Whitehead. Muley is played by John Quaylen. Connie is played by Eddie Quillen. And now, at last, The Grapes of Wrath is ready for the screen as the motion picture captures all the drama, suspense, action, tears and laughter of the story that stirred a nation.